from the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. It's the opening round of the 1997 Supercross Series. It's one of the most exciting beginnings to a season in recent years with four-time champion Jeremy McGrath switching from a Honda to a Suzuki. On the racetrack. We've there he is. We've got a lot of fast riders on that gate right now getting set. Damon Huffman, number seven. up. And the season is underway for the 250s. It is Jeremy McGrath on the inside. Emig to the outside. McGrath is tied up in turn one. By Albertine. Brown and uh, McGrath ran into each other. Lampson just passing Jeremy McGrath. McGrath went down again. Lampson making the contact in the corner. Great season and went on to win the title. And we may see this from Albertine. No goggles on McGrath now. Goggles off. It's uh, it's hard to pass those guys when you get up on those roofs. The dirt flying. It's not a good sign. Supercross Series. Art Ekman, David Bailey, Skip Norfolk, and Davey Coombs bringing you the action. Los Angeles Coliseum of the 1997 is underway. Jeremy McGrath to the inside. Yamaha teammates will be battling amongst themselves. Give him a little bit of cushion. He doesn't Jeremy have... McGrath in fourth with Steve Lampson in fifth. Look out for that confrontation. Damon Huffman is after Lampson. Look to see where McGrath is. As Jeremy McGrath is gunning for his first podium of the year. Has a little trick right there before going McGrath now far to far. He's got the inside move as they go into the corner. Jeremy McGrath moves into third. Henry wins his second Supercross. Art Ekman, David Bailey, and Marty Reed bringing you the action. Wins the grand. It is Emig. Out in front is Jeff Emig. Not far behind is Albertine's Larry Ward. And Damon Huffman McGrath to the inside against uh, his teammate with Team Suzuki. And he comes back a little bit. Amazing, he went to the inside and uh, still almost jumped a double. McGrath in second place to challenge Jeff Emig, baby. Sections. Now it's getting tough, and now that Jeremy's this close, he's going to have to start protecting his line. Look how far to the inside he went in that corner. Wheel spin, a lot of wheel spin out of that corner. Well, he had to go so much to the inside to protect his line. This is where Jeremy's been fast. What a battle! Jeremy McGrath takes this first lead of the season! Emig, though, not willing to give up, tries to block past him on the final turn before the finish line jump. Fisk is down. First time he's gone down this year. Jeremy McGrath in that sand, and Emig is now in first place in fourth. Albertine and McGrath. Larry Second and third. Pulled up quite a bit on McGrath now. McGrath keeps on reaching over the triple jump. I'm not sure what he's doing. He takes, takes round number three. Oh, what an exciting start to the series. To the kingdom in Seattle, Washington for round number four. The 250 main from the Seattle kingdom is underway. Lamps at a 15. Jeremy McGrath is right there. Oh, a great start. As from third, then it's Ezra Moss trying to make a move on Lampson. He comes through in the whoop section. Our leader is Michael Craig. I have a feeling we're going to A six and an eight. And here's the battle between Ward and Jeremy McGrath. Larry Ward, number six, Honda in the whoops. Here comes Henry. Henry passes McGrath. And so McGrath slips back to fifth spot. Look at it. Back and forth, Larry Ward. And McGrath. McGrath inches ahead of Larry Ward. In the corner. And Emig. Emig had trouble in the whoops. The checkered flag for Doug Henry in the pits prior to race time was Doug Henry. A Doug Henry fan here in Indianapolis. He's got a word of $1,000 first. They are off. Emig with a good... Emig, Ward, Henry, McGrath. Boy, what a battle this could shape up to be. The track is right now. It's all goes clean, so no one's going to make any mistakes until a little bit later in the race. Did he heat on uh, Emig? I do believe so, guys. Well, he's got a clear shot up to Emig. All it took was that little mistake. Craig is making a move. Has just almost passed Larry Ward. The sink on that lap really bad. We see him getting slower and slower. There might be something wrong there. Now the rock goes from by. He is spiraled backwards in the pack. He's down. Time a Honda has not won Indianapolis. As 
Ovechkin after that, and Larry Ward along with Damon Huffman. Boys, it could drop any time now. They're rubbing up. Late start by Morocco. And Huffman, 17. Damon Huffman, $1,000 richer. Like we lost Mike Craig down there in the first turn. He went down with uh, Jeff Matasevich. It looked like Ryan Huffman. Craig is a... It may take Jeremy a while to win. I mean, look at what he's, he's riding. The best he's ridden he wasn't able to pick up a win. Things this year are a lot tougher than they were last year for McGrath. So many podiums. Here he comes with the big race on, trying to get around Jeff Hemming. Seals him off. It's coming, too. That's how exciting that rhythm section is, the way the track designers built this. They had different timing. Jeremy looked over, knew Emig was coming, or the guy out of run in India. That's the old Jeremy. I feel like the clock's ticking on Emig right now. Damon Huffman. The checkers flag for Damon Huffman. Jeremy McGrath holding off Mike LaRocco. Racing here because of an injury. The board is sideways. That means, and the gate drop. Emmy, number three. In fact, you talk about riding on the edge. Number one has done it here, Davey Combs. Yeah, that's right. We watched that whole lap. We watched Jeremy McGrath, and he's going really hard. He's charging. He's, but David, how many times are we going to have to say that? <laughs> well, we've been saying it pretty much every week. He's taking chances, and there's time enough for him to catch Emig, and don't, don't count out the fact that when Emig gets into lap rider... He went down once already in this race. Right. So he's making a really nice comeback. And there goes Jeremy right there. Something seems to be wrong. Bradshaw in 13th, Henry in 10th. Here's the battle low. One versus 11. Jeremy McGrath looks to the side as he makes the pass. Place. And now, every other race, Jeff Emig, the checkered flag. This is when it's all up to the rider. Everyone has to step out of the way. No more communication. Without winning at least one Supercross, Jeremy McGrath with a good start, but it's Jeff Emig with the whole shot. It's Taylor, number 30, but out in front is Emig, number three, with McGrath, number one, making a quick early move. Back in second place, Jimmy Button's got the inside move and is challenging for the lead. McGrath not giving up. They oh. both hop by Emig. Greg Albertine, I should say, as Jeff Emig is right next to me. What a great first lap. Business as usual, and all of a sudden McGrath off the triple. This triple right here tags him right in the rear at that inside. Once again, Jeremy McGrath's going to show him a wheel or two here on the inside. Jeremy McGrath, his second lead of the Supercross season. The line away. How long can Jimmy Button stay with Jeremy McGrath now? Let's Pull see. Away. This is the longest that Jeremy has gone without a win since he started in Supercross. Target right now will be Jimmy Button, and here's the checkered flag. A very, very happy Jeremy McGrath. And Albertine, his teammate, hugging Jeremy McGrath, Jimmy Button with his best performance of his career. That happy. Usually just the winner's the happy guy, but Albertine stoked to finish behind his teammate who picked up his first winner. Before us, and they're off. Who will get the whole shot now? Jeremy McGrath and Jimmy Buttonette. McGrath is now in fifth spot. So one tiny mistake for Bradshaw. He was knocking on the door of Henry. Now he sits in fourth. This will be interesting to see what happens in the corner. Lust will try to stop him. Didn't work. Nice cut by Emig in second place. Finish on the podium. Look at that. Doesn't waste any time. Incredible. Goes Jeff Emig, what a performance. Emig's mechanic is Davey Coombs. Actually, I was down here with Jeremy, but the, uh, there's so much commotion going on down here. We lost him. Looks like his front sliver might be bent, but the kid's charging. He looks like he's on it. Keep it on him. Look at that Jeremy McGrath. The checker flag for Jeff Emig. Welcome back to Orlando, Florida, the Citrus Bowl. From Orlando, Florida, the Citrus Bowl, who will get the $1,000 whole shot award? On his tail, Rhino cuts to the inside. Rhino takes over the lead. Back and forth we go. And number one, Jeremy McGrath to the inside. Morocco, though, is not giving up. Somebody went over the hay bales and is under the hay bales in the corner. 
no, I don't have 100% stamina. I just haven't had enough oh, to work out. Jeremy McGrath, Marty, sorry to interrupt, is in a part of our battle with Jeff Emig. He's right there. He went into that corner. I don't know well, how he made that run. Now he's going to get by Ryan. This game's just falling apart here, but you know, for three laps, he rode really well. There goes McGrath right now. now McGrath the, looking back toward yeah. Mike LaRocco, but right on the back rubber is Jeremy McGrath. Here comes Jeremy. Oh, my goodness. Mike LaRocco's not going to give it up easy. But once again, McGrath turning on a dime on that inside, and I'm surprised that LaRocco was unable to do that triple unless perhaps he just won. Ward faded outside. There's McGrath. Pow. Unbelievable. McGrath now. Not since 1993 have there been five different winners in a season beside this time. Ezra Lusk, the checkered flag, and his very first 250 victory. Mark's Unlimited Supercross Series. Hello, everyone. Art Ekman, along with David. $1,000 Pro Race Whole Shot Award. They're off and running. McGrath and Emig right together. Here comes Emig. Look out, Jeremy. Jeremy taking the inside. Unbelievable. First place. Emig takes a gamble, times those jumps a little different. It worked out better in the end, and a good start for LaRocco. Start better than usual. Jeremy tries to slam the door. Emig almost lands on the hay bale. Comes Jeremy once again. Right now, whatever pain he does have, he doesn't care about. Oh, Jeremy McGrath with the block pass. The reward in third. Jeremy to the inside. Shuts the door on Emig. Here. He's only going to lose two points. Jeremy McGrath, his second win of the year. Sold out Pontiac Silverdome. It's round 12 of the AMA Four Parts Unlimited Supercross Series. On the line, Jeremy McGrath and Jeff Emig are thinking much beyond that. McGrath start. Buddy Anton is right next to him. Emig, McGrath. You can't get a better start with for Lusk. Wyndham. Jeremy McGrath cuts inside. Puts a little touch on Emig. Oh, my goodness. Jeremy McGrath goes right to the start. Jeremy just riding perfect. The way he got to that corner right there, just he could have taken there. Here's our leader, McGrath. Lusk is behind him, picking up some time now. That's three and a half seconds. Yes. McGrath is down, and he's under the bike. Lusk takes the lead. Ezra Lusk in the lead. You can hear his fans. McGrath cuts in front of Larry Ward, but still can't get his bike started. Let's check this out by Jeremy McGrath, and McGrath's bike is in bad shape. There goes Bradshaw. He went by just to... Just a little technical section. Looks like everything's good there, but front end, cards in there. He turns it a little too quick, and that spike started, and that takes so much energy out of you at this point in the race. Believe me, he is tired. A wonderful ride. The checkers for Ezra. His second win of the season, Mima Grab. Trying to fly by Bradshaw. Jerry Mimi McGrath. Bradshaw goes down. That'll add a couple of more points. Control it all. Brad, uh, Jeremy squared him off, and Bradshaw went down. Something that I've never done before in my whole life, and I was pretty disgusted about it. I was pretty mad, and uh, so, I mean, uh, Try not to let that happen again. Speedway. It's round 13 of the AMA Four Parts Unlimited Supercross Series, Hello. bringing you a down-to-the-wire two-way battle for the 1997 Supercross Championship. Could we have a different winner? We've had six different winners this year. Could we have a new points leader when this is over? Emig and McGrath. McGrath gets across the line. For Jeff Emig, he went from second on the outside to about 15th. The fireworks, in case you want to know about the bombs going off, the uh, Albertine. I, I see Emig right now. He's only picked up two spots on that lap. He's only up to 12. He's getting ready to make a move on one of the Chaparral guys. But a chance for a win this season. Ezra Lusk takes Craig, number 15. Maybe a little bit of that time off paid, uh, came back and haunted Craig right, right there. Here is a replay, though, in the battle for second place. It's Jeremy McGrath on the right, Ezra Lusk on the left, wheel to wheel. <laughs> These guys are going <laughs> to take each other out to win this championship. Wyndham, McGrath, Lusk, Albertine, Ward, Hughes, and Emmy. To, to pick off a little bit of time here and there on Wyndham. He's not going to make any big mistakes and go chase him down. Oh, Lusk. Lusk making a big move. Guys that, that want to be superstars and want to be the best, and I think Ezra Lusk is knows what it feels like to win a couple of main events. Trying to figure out what's wrong also, but there is definitely something wrong with Jeremy Suzuki. He's got a flat tire. Yeah, Jeremy McGrath has got a rear flat tire. Well, it's a fairly straight track. 
If it were the front tire, it'd be impossible. Yeah. We're, we're going to test his merit, but that's, that's the great thing about Supercross. There's a lot of time left, too. That thing might come off the rim lock, and he's going to have some real problems. Coming up, too, right there, we see Emmett go by. Jeremy just salvaged the points lead, Art. That's right. And number three, number one, it's Jeff Emmy. Well, I think, you know, Jeremy is a champion. He's going to keep fighting out. Here's Kevin Windham. His first 250 Supercross victory. Even though there was the controversy there, he's still, that makes him a, sh a great champion. We'll be back with the official order of things and the celebration here from the Charlotte. From Texas Stadium, the home of the Cowboys, it's round 14 of the AMA Four Parts Unlimited Supercross Series. The Kawasaki of Ryan Hughes on the other side. We're off for the main event. Oh! Jeremy is Jeremy's caught down. Jam. He's caught up in the first turn. Jeremy just moving out of 13th place. It takes us back to 1995 in the mud race then. He was in 13th. He's capable of doing it, but the one thing is, is you got Jeff out front, and if he doesn't fall down, uh, make a mistake. He just got by Bradshaw for seven. Look at Jeremy. Gets by Ryan. Yeah. So still anything can happen. As we look here at Texas Stadium, Jeremy McGrath getting by Kudrowski. Concentrate on... Michael Gray. He's got it. Stepping stone to where he's at now. The checkers for Jeff Emmy. Hello, everybody, from Sam Point Stadium, the home of the running rebels of UNLV. The team point lead gives him that luxury of needing only a ninth or better to win his first Supercross championship. I got so close and caught up from a long ways back, and then just to have a little stuff happen like that is just. You know, it's a heartbreaker, but caught up a long ways and was right there, knocking on the door, and then, you know, fell backwards again. I don't know. All I can do in Vegas here is just try and win the race. And on the inside, there's the guys like Hughes, Bradshaw, McGrath, and, of course, Doug Henry. I don't know. That's, uh, it might seem risky. When... Jeff Emmett gets ready. We're underway. The final race of the season. The Jeremy McGrath has already passed. Larry Ward and Jimmy Button. He's moved into fifth spot right now. Looks like Henry is just going to say, see you later. He's already got a big lead in the battle. He's out there hounding uh, the leader, Doug Henry. But right now, he's just going, okay, where's Jeremy? He's standing, giving Doug Henry a great cheer as he takes the checkers for the third time. Well, Jeremy Albright gets a little bonus out of that, too. Here he comes across slowly but effectively. Jeff Hemming. Results, uh, Got him. Right now, as the uh, Suzuki top five point standings, it is a 15-point win for Jeff Bailey. And welcome to Gatorback Cycle Park in Gainesville, Florida. 47, are you in? Defending champion of the 250 class, Jeff Emig, wearing all black, going Oakland Raider on us. Okay, we're set for motor number one. They're underway. Whole shot artist. It's Jeff Emig. Played a whole shot. Look who's track. right behind him, Jeremy McGrath, number two. He just landed over off that jump. Jeremy McGrath right behind. It's been a while since we took a look at this guy, number two, Jeremy McGrath, who's running a lonely second place. The checkers for Jeff Emig and a great ride for this young man. Getting set, the gate drops. Moto 2 is underway. Jeff Emig, another great start. That's sand, that wide open section. Whoa, look at Bradshaw, number 10, moving into second place. Working his way to the front quick. He's got his teammate to get around first. And that odd sounding bike of Henry's. Well, Albertine having a rough time of it. Here comes Jeremy McGrath. Looks back at his teammate as he passes him into fourth. Inside cut, Jeremy McGrath against his former teammate, Doug Henry. Back and forth, side to side. Get Jeremy work inside, outside, over and over. Did such a good job. I mean, it would have been so easy for him. As we see Wyatt Seals, his mechanic, looking on. Putting the crunch on Damon Bradshaw for second place. Jeremy McGrath is... Jeremy looking brilliant right now. Oh, no, Jeremy! Slipped out on that slick area. Overall. Jeff Emig, the checkered flag. Welcome back to the Hangtown Classic. Art Ekman, David Bailey, Marty Reed. It's the big engines right now. Jeremy McGrath cooling himself down. Here you go for voter number one. And they're off. 
There is Jeremy in the middle, but Jeremy doesn't have the greatest start. It's Jeff Emmick. Former Privateer of the Year winner back in the race now as we take a look at the challenge that Doug Henry is putting on. What a year this could be as Jeff Emmick. Again, as we're set for moto number two, underway. Starting out in second place in the first moto, slipped all the way back to ninth. And back in the pits, in the heavier machine. Gotta Here get comes Albertine. Albertine, our leader now. But take a look at this matchup with Ezra Lusk, number 11, and Jeremy McGrath trying to move up the ladder after a poor start. Looks to the outside, then it becomes the inside. McGrath makes the pass on Ezra Lusk. The checkers and the overall victory for Greg Albertine. So here in Moto2, Henry holds on to a third. McGrath holds on to four. Welcome back to the third round of AMA Motocross. Won all the motos through this round, the first six, and it was Jeff Emig playing catch-up. Henry, number 20, on the four stroke. There in the early part of the race, I've always mentioned this, you go down early like that, everyone gets around you. Right, you hold on to the lead here with our first moto of 250s. Whoa, Doug Henry slowing up a bit. Emig takes the lead. Not going to let him off the hook yet, but... Made a mistake exiting that corner, wasn't able to get in the rut he needed. Power is a great advantage, and Henry cuts to the inside, retaking the lead. Uh, well, he's, he was injured here not too long ago. Cutting to the inside, retaking the lead is Jeff Emmy. Listen to that four-stroke. You can hear him coming down the hill, all that compression. Oh, oh. And going up the hill, bar to bar. Now back on the throttle, going to the outside. Oh, oh, oh what a great race for the fans. He took a little bit out of Henry. Here comes Albertine on the inside to challenge his uh, Suzuki teammate. Well, look at that around the outside. Wide open. What a power move by Albertine. Trying to make sure that he can make it through the day with that foot. Tries to cut inside on Henry. Makes the pass. And the checkers, the winner of photo number one for the 250s, Jeff Emmy. The 250s. Can Jeff Emig do it again? Keep that win streak alive. Let's see who gets the whole shot. It's number 19. There, Henry exited early into the hay bales. Emig, uh, by the time they work their way around Antonez, if they can, that should give a pretty good little lead. Here's Jeremy McGrath taking the inside and goes through that, that huge rut. To Check the inside. Here comes Albertine again to the inside. Albertine hesitating a little bit. He just passed John Dowd. Back to the action now with Albertine guns it around the corner on McGrath. Whoa, does a helicopter spin. Here's the big battle right now, and McGrath's got his hands full with John Dowd. This battle for second place with the hand still. Getting in on, whoa, oh no, Dowdy went down. He hard and hard, so they just keep coming. Both of them former champions. Of course, Jeremy McGrath last year. And right here is where he loves to pour it on. Boy, just barely. He landed and just idles, and then you get the rest of your life. The checkered flag for Jeff Emmy. Mud, mud, and more mud. Ready to go, number 14, right alongside Emmy is Dowd. The gate is down for moto number one. Hughes to the inside, and it's Albertine going down. Who's lined up at the gate at the far inside. Whoa! Oh, good. Hughes having trouble getting up the hill. No Not before he caused somebody else to go down. Jeremy's down, too. So we'll have to recheck the order. Seabridge, Georgia, was able to get by Jeremy McGrath when McGrath went down. But now Jeremy is pulling up and fairly tight on number 11. Oh, right now it's not good to Ezra Lusk. Lusk going down and Jeremy flying by. Checkered play. He's had some rough times this year, but this is his first career 250 moto win. Ryan Hughes, the check. Moto one, but Larry Ward got the whole shot from the outside. Gets another good start here in Moto two. Lusk trailing though, and there comes Larry Ward. I think we should mention Albertine not in this second moto after pulling out of the first moto with a shoulder injury. Banging a little rubber. There goes Jeff Emick, number one, but he has to slow down. He almost went off the track. He won four times. Damon Bradshaw took three. Howard took three, and here comes Damon Bradshaw. Boy, where did he get the power up that hill? There's Doug Henry, number 20, carefully coming off that berm, and look at that, Jeremy McGrath. Inches ahead, 
coming down and Bradshaw gets caught up in the water. Can Larry Ward get by him? Oh, ho, look at that. Larry. The third place after winning the first photo. And oh, Ryan hits the deck. Can he get up quick enough? The roost, he knows that checkered flag is waving. Damon Bradshaw. What a moment for these fans that have stuck it out. Reed with you from Bud's Creek, Maryland for round number five of our AMA motocross season. The two do that at a GP several years ago. The Euros did it as we're ready for moto number one. Oh, no. my goodness. On that. That's uh, Henry, number 20, just getting underway. And another wreck at the top of the hill. Emig, number one, trying to restart. Right now to have McGrath out front. Maybe this is what he needs with Emig going down in the first corner for McGrath to dig himself out of that points deficit right now in the title. He's got Lusk pushing him hard at the moment. Ezra Lusk on the right. Jeremy McGrath, number two, reestablishing things. Well, Lusk has got a great drive off that plateau, right. but line, so Lusk had nowhere to go. This has always been number five, so one of his favorite tracks anyway. This is kind of rare to see four guys still this close. Usually something's happened by now. Somebody makes a pass. Oh, oh just as you say it, Ezra Lusk. And now he's a little bit sore from riding so much. He's been injured and wasn't able to ride, but here he's been able to practice, getting passed by LaRocco again now. To make it easy for him, that's for sure. He's countering every move. Right here, Ryan squared that corner off. He's just going to out horsepower. Look at that. Jumps. That's just a strength move right there. Last, after the incident in the first turn of the first lap, is fighting his way back up to fifth spot. Up the hill to the checkered flag. Ezra Lusk, his first outdoor national 250 checkered flag. As he got his first Supercross 250 flag early on for its topography and high speeds. Let's see if it's a clean start this time. Whoa, Jason McCormick. Ezra Lusk. Lusk moving right in front of 52 at that moment. Out of our picture, and John Dow taking advantage of it. And look at Dowdy. He's coming up on the back uh, wheel. And it doesn't look good, David. No, it looks like he's gotten the wind knocked out of him. He's going over toward the crowd. Oh, this does not look good at all. Rather limp. The fans now obliging to take his helmet off for him. Look at this. A traumatic sight, especially when you know the history of Doug Henry and Bud's mm. Creek. Barely. And Emig takes the high route like Wyndham did in the 125s. It's been a year of firsts for Ezra Lusk as the checkers fly for Jeff Emmons out of 10 motos on the year. Welcome back to the 25th anniversary here in Southwick, Massachusetts for AMA Motocross. He's already got a mud tire because that's the kind of tires you use in the sand. Okay, moto number one underway. Who's going to get that hole shot? Ezra Lusk and Ryan Hughes right there. Number 14, John Dowd out in front. Ryan Hughes number nine. Oh, his teammate, Jeff Emmings down. Looked like he went down hard. Phil Lawrence swap. Now his teammate gets by. Now both those guys coming off a good four. And, of course, Doug Henry looking on from the side. Oh, McCormick is down. There goes Voss head over heels, getting a headache. Nice, look out, number 85. Turlecki, Wallace, number 40. He gets hung up. Checkered flag is out and ready for John Dow here in moto number one. Me and J.D. here want to dedicate this one to Doug. You know, he's, he was a big support out there. He was around the whole track out there. Here he is here. Bo cast on his arm, and he was running around the track, swinging him like a windmill. Not a bad strategy. Let's see how Larry Ward can take advantage of it. Lusk was out there with him. He didn't come all the way around the outside. Number two. This time, McGrath with a much better start. Right there, he can check out John Dow. Look at that rain. Big. Jeremy McGrath has his hands full right now. Larry Ward, Honda of Troy, battling for second place. They had some success, but here today it's a whole different thing. Got to be a rainbow somewhere on this course. <laughs> I mean, they went through rain on the other end of it, placed from ninth at Bud's Creek with that victory. He was hoping to move up in the point standings. Everybody likes him. He takes the checkers for the second time in a row. 250s now from Red Bud Track and Trail of Buchanan, Michigan. Skip Norfolk is back, ladies and gentlemen, with the Suzuki team. It's not that Wyatt Seals is not a good mechanic. It looks like to me the move was made to psychologically inspire the former champion. Any moment right now, they're off for moto number one of the 250s. And guess who's out in front? Jeff Emig. Emig breaking a mini slump in hole shots. That shows you how tough it is to find it. Look at that dancing around. What happens? You got all those breaking bumps, and then you've got several ruts. 
certainly tell the difference in power on this track. Look oh. out, look out, Ryan Hughes. Oh my goodness, one for the highlight reel. Yeah, I think he did the right thing, but man, he looks like he's in pain. McGrath's still in contention, but he's got to, if he wants to run with Emig, which is what he's got to do to win this title, he's got to get up there and steal points from Jeff. And that's how to do it oh. right there. Lusk just got hung up in that boat. Oh. Lusk, another mistake on the outside. Jeremy McGrath makes the pass on Ezra. So it's McGrath into third, Dowdy into second. Well, coming out of that corner there, he got a little off balance in that rut, then he went a little too wide, and they both got by him. So one mistake, and you can drop two positions like that. Great racing. First total wins as well. Oh, a little touch there on Jeremy McGrath and John Dowd. There are some sections like that right-hand corner right here. And through this tight stuff where you pretty much have to follow. Jeremy tried to take some different lines. Look, look at that. What a great crowd to see it too. Can McGrath hold on? They touch once again. Dowd comes back. I don't oh, think so. oh. Well, you really can't tell with the angle of the camera how high they're jumping on that LaRocco's lead. The battle for second continues. Yeah, he's trying really hard to get around him, and I'm, I'm, John doesn't want to let him go by, but they need to think about Emick, who's just leaving him. So if they don't start racing Emick, then uh, he's gone. We're going to lose the moto. Right there, and he's watching, too. Look at Jeremy. Same same line again. This time uh, he made it work. Great desire from Jeremy McGrath. So far, the rain has held off in this area. Here comes Dowd. Dowd with the edge on the inside. Oh, it looked like he surprised McGrath, showing us his real self right now. Making this moto look like practice. The checkers for Jeff Emmy. Outside and left of your screen, there's some empty spot. That's not the place to be. Let's check it out. It looks like Dowd and Lusk fighting for the hole shot. Number 14 takes to the inside. And it's Dowd now with the lead into the second turn. This will be interesting with Emmy on the pursuit. Can Dowd hold him off? Dowd very strong in the second motos. Challenge. Interesting corner. Oh, oh, oh. Emmick goes down. Down he went wide, and the wheels went out from underneath. Everybody's passing him. Oh, Kudrowski puts him back on the dirt. Peter Lusk behind the leader, then Jeremy McGrath, and then number five, Team Suzuki's Mike LaRocco. You see, the pace will slow down just a little bit because they're riding defensive, trying to hold you back. And that could be the moment. It looks to me like Lusk and Jeremy are. Whoa, Jeremy goes down. Checking this race. Needs those points. Nice and quick. He's not hurt. Good starts. Good, strong performances all the way through. Bailey and Davey Coombs from the famous Unadilla Valley Sports Center. The Unadilla track known for robbery in places. They're off for moto number one. The 250s are underway. Jeff Emmy. He got used as a buffer, though. On the outside, yes. Ryan Hughes giving it a tussle now. As They're responding to the challenge by Dowd, and you can see that Emig's starting to ride a little bit different lines, a little bit smoother here and there. He's not following. He's found his rhythm. He may have caught him and passed him, but check this out. Emig right back. Oh, such speed by Emmy. A great clear. Year to the next. Now it has amateurs. and Oh, Dowd gets a wheel in front of Emig. They're coming up the hill. He's got the drive going. Who's going to win this one bar to bar? Look at the rebound on Dowd's bike. Well, it's just a drag race into every corner and out of every corner. It's like a hole shot. We got lappers coming up as Emig retakes the lead again. Sportsmanship there. Here comes Dowd. Puts a little aggressive move to the inside. A little scrape. Emig holding on. All the track. Yes, he is, but... This is too much track oh. to try to use up. Look at that, Dow just trying to stick to a legitimate chance. Oh, a last lap mistake, John Dow. He fought all the way. The checkers for his eighth moto victory of the year. Oh, but Jeff Emig takes moto number one. Ford is sideways, and we're off. Emig with a good job. He forgot about the number change, thought it was one of the Europeans coming over with a three-digit number. <laughs> He just uh, caught Emmick sleeping right there in that mechanics corner. Oh, he just made a quick pass. It didn't stick, but you can see he's using completely different lines out there on the racetrack and Lust trying to find a way around. Very sneaky. Retaliate. European riders, when they come over here, always talk a lot about knowing their opponent's riding style. Stefan Everett. Emmick's lead starts to shrink. You see Keith McCarty there, Yamaha team manager, urging John Dowd on. 
Dowd just all over the racetrack, inside and outside, trying to find a way around. Look at that, John Dowd has moved in front of Stefan Everett. And Emig is not that far, and Everett goes down. Well, he didn't go down, he put it down. Will Emig use up the track on John Dowd on this final lap? Where will Dowdy make his move? He cuts to the inside, Dowdy's got a wheel. No, Emig comes back. He get oh, Emig got the tire to the ground quicker and perfect shift in all season long. Troy, Ohio, Art Ekman, David Bailey, and Davey Coombs as we get set for the 250s. Who will get the whole shot now here at Kenworthy Farm? Damon Bradshaw, Jeremy McGrath. Well, those guys went into that first corner aggressive. They got busy in there. Surprised nobody went down. Bradshaw comes out on top. Moving to second. He's got the inside. McGrath, number two. He's really like this outdoor track. Bradshaw out in front, one of the five different winners we've had so far in the 1997 season. Ah, he's very aggressive. Here comes Jeremy, cuts inside the corner. Jeremy McGrath is our leader. Well, this is a long, hot day. Look at Emick, right to the inside, just muscles his way into that inside line. The comping problems. From Maybe his pace is just not quite up to par, and he needs to pick it up. Jeremy McGrath in the lead, but look at how it's cut down, and Jeff Emig moving around. Bradshaw can't even for the lead. The crowd going crazy. A record crowd at Kenworthy Farm. Sees bar to bar with Emig and McGrath. Can Jeremy hold on to that lead? Yes, for the moment, anyway. Yeah, Emig. Emig was trying to get in there and square him off. Jeremy counted perfect. Stopped just in that berm. And perfect heat and humidity to watch motocross. Jeremy McGrath, number two. Jeff Emig, the defending champion of the match. Emig in front of Jeremy McGrath. Boy, that was just flat out aggressive. Around the outside, wide open. A quick pass on him early in the moto, and Emig, as, as uh, Jeremy called it, kind of psychoed back by. That was that was a psycho back by right there, around the outside. What a way to start. Cruising across the line as the checkers fly for Jeff Emmy. Asking for the water jug. <laughs> Coming across the line in second place, Jeremy McGrath. As we get set for motor number two, the gate's down and we are underway. Larry Ward with a good start this time. He's on the outside. Emmy taking over the lead going into turn two. Ward had an interesting line coming to the corner. He swung way. Here's Ward and Emmy. Ward hanging real close to Jeff, not letting him get away. Well, he's got to make Emmy gone when he gets the whole shot. So Ward's doing the right thing here. It's just a question of how. Can he hold off a rampaging Larry Ward? Number six comes to the inside. Boy, Emmy got all the way over that triple. Here comes Ryan Hughes making the pass. Jeremy McGrath has now moved back to fourth, or has he? Ryan Hughes. He put out a lot of energy in that first moto. It's starting to show now. Looked like Dowd had the pass made right there. Jeremy got him right back. 14 Team Yamaha. Jeremy, if in fact he is that tired, he's hanging on pretty good, but Dowd got around on the inside. The checkered flag for Jeff Emmy. Welcome back to Millville, Minnesota, as we get set for the 250 action. What has turned into an Emmy Dowd show. 11 moto victory so far in the year for Jeff Emig. Let's see who can get the whole shot. Just the opportunity, Ryan. Oh, oh Ryan Hughes. What a spectacular crash. Jeff Emig has now established the lead. Dowd moves into third. What ex Oh, going down. Jeremy McGrath. McGrath crashing out of eighth position. He's got the time to do it as he simply walks almost across that finish line. We are inside the starting gate. Greg Albert, team number eight, Jeremy McGrath, number two. The plan is to get off the starting gate, get on the grass with a lot more hard pack, and I'm gonna lose stuff, see how start they get. Just get with the soil that they might use for this getaway, and look at that, tight roping down the green grass. Albert, he got the advantage, and whoops. Emmy go to the inside, McCormick to the outside, and that's the advantage now of John Dow, number 14, who gets so close in the sandy section of the track but it's on the uphill portion that Dowdy has his problems back out front, just as close as ever right now. They touch, a little polite bump by John Dowd, number 14. Get Femi, number one, number 14, John Dowd, just like he did at Unadilla. So close here at the end. We're getting toward the checkered flag. Dowdy touches him a little bit. The throttle by Jeff Emmy, just a little bit. Washuga, Washington, where we're getting set for the 250s. Apple did in the 125s, and that's win a crowd. Albertine a good start, Emig a good start, Dowd out in front, but a bad break for John Dowd. 
A great break, however, for Emig when you consider. Look at here. The challenge of Jeff Emig right now is number six, Larry Ward of Honda of Troy. He cuts inside, but Emig has a good angle going into that corner. Look out, bar to bar. Long on the inside. Jeff Emig, very easily our leader. McGrath is now in fourth place. Whoa, a little touch there by McCormick. A little love, Pat, though, taking advantage. He has the long slingshot. And a nice pass by Jeremy McGrath. He is, and you can see how confident he is, how relaxed now. On the starting line, cracking jokes with everybody. Perform well to extend it for another week. Oh, great start for number one. Jeff Emick, the whole shot. Jason McCormick, another outstanding start. In second place, number 52. On the ski jump, and Albertine. And oh, they banging bars. Hughes, Albertine. Albertine comes out of it a little bit better. Oh well, he earned it. He sure did. We are back in Binghamton, New York. Art Ekman, David Bailey, and Davey Coombs anticipating the crowning of a champion, and this is history in the making. We'll see who takes off and gets the whole shot. Emig's good at it, but look at there. It's the four-stroke number 20, Doug Henry. Gets good position right now to take the lead. Hughes, our new leader. Him on our screen. Dowd has taken the lead away from Ryan Hughes. Dowd picks it up. That's right. He takes the checkered flag coming off. Well, they get a, both get out of there really fast. John Dowd, Jeff Emig. Emig has the inside track. Dowdy looks to the inside. He's looking for every opportunity he possibly. Oh, Dowd! He doesn't go down. He gets off there. He only lost one spot. Lucky for John Dowd. Psychological effect for Dowdy should he pass him and finish the season strong. Just turning 32. Makes the pass on Emig. Can Emig come back? Look at Dowdy to the outside. Oh! Dow just did exactly what Jeff Stanton told all the riders out there and all the young people to do. The checkers. It is a sweep for John Dow. Number 14 comes through in the race. The record books for 1997, a 116 point advantage for Emig, the biggest margin since Mike LaRocco's 150 point margin.